Yeah. All right, guys. So my name is Kojo Shout in the head is big for a reason. And on this episode of Convo with the Head, I have a very special guest here with me. We are going to have a conversation about Ghana movies, uh, um, theater, stage, you know, play, and a lot of things. You understand? Now, what are you working on now? What is what is in the pipeline now? We're what, working on a what play. What is hitting the theaters now? It's called a detective calls. A detective calls. Is this one? No, K. No, okay. this is K, uh, like Michael Kors. No, okay. so this one is C A L L S, okay. as in to call on someone. Okay. It's a fancy way to say I'll, I'll visit you, I'll call on you. Okay, yeah. Mm. So, a detective calls, mm. it's a play about life, mm. about our conscience, mm. and the way we treat people. Mm. It's a play which teaches us that the various things that we say and the many interactions we have with people every day contribute to the kind of day that they will have. Mm. Or whether or not they'll wake up the next morning. Mm. I'll just give you a couple of examples. In in, in our everyday life. Mm. So you're driving, you get to the traffic light, some kid comes to knock on you, we're like, mm, get get out of here. Mm. And then the mother is like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, we, we do that. I yeah, mean, you we, see that happen all the time. Yeah. You know, a woman comes with her child on her back yeah. and one in front of her, like, mm. page, maybe yeah. fio, mm. you know, you get to the office, you're trying to enter somewhere, the security man is standing there, you're like, Can't you see me? Mm. Like, open the gates. Mm. You don't know what's What's happening with him personally, or mm. what he's thinking about? Mm. Yeah. Maybe he was contemplating suicide that morning, mm. but he found the courage to come to work, and then he called him a useless man. Mm. This man is probably going to go home and drink that poison that he was contemplating, because mm. he has gotten the confirmation that he is in fact useless. Mm. You know, a girl is sitting in the office; she's put her head on the table, and your first thought is she's lazy, a lazy girl. This girl has probably just had an abortion. Hey something tragic has happened you don't know what's happening with her mm. and she's probably f- full of regret or remorse or is questioning her, her herself mm. you don't know what people are going through and so it's important that you're just kind to people or just ignore them okay. let that let them go okay. don't say anything mm. because your words your actions and inactions mm. can contribute to lead someone mm to the biggest tragedy of their lives. Mm. So the play is about a family. Mother, father, daughter, son, and boyfriend. Please don't tell them. <laughs> I, will I, I, I will say the whole thing. Yeah. But, um, okay, I, I, will, I won't tell the story of, mm-hmm. of the play. But this play is very intriguing. I love it because the main character, the lead role, the person about whom the play is about, never comes on stage. So it's different. And it affords you, the viewer, the opportunity to make this character into whoever you expect or imagine her to be in your mind so i have to be a critical thinker to come and watch it like bro i have to come <laughs> and sit there and do something you, you must be someone who will not be on your phone every five minutes oh okay because people go to the because cinema if you yeah. come and you sit down mm. and you put your phone down mm. You will leave a different person. Oftentimes, when we finish the plays and, and we finish, people get up the club and they're like, hey, Charlie, the play was good and they are mm, working out. Mm. High five, you're like, let's take pictures. But after this play, most people just walk, walk out very quietly. Mm. People are quiet mm. when the play ends. They get up, they clap, and then they start walking out. Mm. People aren't laughing or talking. You know, it changes you. It ch- it's changed me. Mm. I remember during rehearsals, one of our, our, our lead actors, Akofe Jan, he said, now, nah, I fired one of my girls who was misbehaving. But after reading the script, I I want to call her and find out how she's doing. I mean, I'm not going to take her back, but I just need to call on her and see how she's doing because this play has got me thinking about the way I treated her. Mm. And it's done the same to me. Mm. It's done the same to all of us. And a lot of the reviews we got after the play were very critical. Um, Theater is supposed to tell us the stories of our lives and also lead us to change our habits and attitudes. Mm. Theater is a great tool for social change. Sure. And I think this play helps us do that. And it's it's altogether very exciting for me. So you people are intentional with some of these things, like this um, th- these placements, like, oh, at the end of the day, this is what we are trying to achieve with this body of work. So the writing is, you know, geared towards that kind of angle yes so if you want to be comical you go comical. yeah so you are intentional with yeah the writing yeah okay you write yeah. your plays yourself or you have so we usually do adaptations okay. so a, a detective calls is an adapt- adaptation of an inspector calls it's a 1965 british play oh okay. which we have adapted for the local audience okay. um last time we staged it we we had the honor of having the ghana police service support us mm. so the igp was there mm. with a lot of his people mm. and after the play they came to us and said that was a play 
Mm. The, and you know, that's that's I don't know approval from the IGP men so much to us because mm. we were a little jittery you know play, with the, because it's a police detective mm. in the play and we were concerned about the representation of the detective mm. you know Ghana police yep. and <laughs> it, it went amazingly well mm. and we had their backing and support um, we had some of our ministers of state in the house mm. a lot of industry players I must say the support we've had has been really encouraging. Mm. And we want more people to come and see it. Would you say with the conversation that we have had, you are looking at a certain demographic target audience? Is your play for a certain demographic, a certain audience, a certain age class? I don't know. It's a family play. Okay. It's a family play. It comes with every play or this is like... So you know. this this particular play is a family play. Okay. Run for Your Wife was rated 18. Okay. But this is a family play. We, we had some children in the house, very young children. Mm. One of the children, about six years old, came to me after the play and asked me, are you a child? I mm. said, no. Mm. She said, why were you crying so much? I said, I wasn't. She said, okay. I like the play. I said, thank you. What did you learn from it? She mm. said, be nice to people. I said, whoa. She's just about six years old. She was she was right in the front. So this is a family play. Um, it is for anyone who can put their phone down for two hours to watch mm. a play. Okay. Once you can do that, okay. you will thoroughly enjoy the play. Mm. Yes. June 3rd, June 4th. Yes. June 4th, detective. June mm. 4th. <laughs> I mean... It's not a soldier calls. It's a detective calls. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just, just saying too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. where can people get tickets? Like, how is the ticketing like? So our uh, tickets are out on imagebrew.com, okay. imagebrewgh.com. Mm. Um, nowadays, we are encouraging soft tickets okay. as opposed to hard tickets. Mm. And we're saving the environment. Mm. So um, You are saving it. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, mm. a lot of Ghanaians like to collect their hard copy tickets. Yes, we have to show it. They like to show yeah. it. And honestly, a lot of people buy the hard um, copy tickets help us with with media and advertising because they often post it yeah they post it which is nice mm. if mm -hmm. you want to buy a ticket mm -hmm. i hope you want to buy a ticket please dial star 713 star 101 hash mm. star 713 star 101 hash bus, bus, that's all bus. yeah you, you can kind of wrap with it mm. star 713 star Skr 101 Skr hash Skr that's it E. Yeah. <laughs> so get your tickets. <laughs> or you can go to the airport shell. You can come to the National Theatre to okay. buy um, right. if you want a hard copy. How much are they going for? 150 Ghana CDs oh, only. Yes. I yes. said 150 MU is Sky. Yeah, 150. Yeah. Okay. Fried rice. Fried then rice how long rice. is the play? It's two hours. Two long. hours. Yes. So two hours uh, if you go, I carry your hanky to ABA before and you ask, you know, I wipe your tears. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for having this conversation with me. Thank you for having me. This has been um, fun. You're yes. so cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool. And like you that. look so much nicer in person. <laughs>